Yo, 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 this is Bernal Witherspoon from the Create Lab. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on uh, creating some rain. I'm going to make it rain up in here. Um, it's going to look something like this. Um, all right. Um, now, this is actually pretty simple. Um, uh, so we're using uh, Flash. I'm using Flash CS3. You can use whatever version you like. Um, should work in all of them. Um, we're using Action Script 3 for this tutorial. Um, all right. Now I set my background to black, and uh, the dimensions really don't matter. Um, you know. This is what I set mine up as. Um, you know, if you change the dimensions um, of your stage here, um, you may have to play with some of the the X and Y coordinates um, at the end of the tutorial, but not a biggie. Um, all right, so let's get rolling here. Um, first thing we want to do is shut off our stroke and put our paint bucket color to white and we're gonna just draw a circle on stage now if you hold down the shift button while you're drawing your circle it'll give you a perfect circle um, now if you hit V or select your selection tool um, you can see there it, it's a selection tool V V is the quick key to get to that tool. Um, so we select our white circle and we're going to hit the F8 button to create a new symbol. Um, and let's just call this drop underscore MC for movie clip. Um, registration point for this tutorial really doesn't matter too much um, okay so now we get our drop movie clip um, created we want to double click to go inside of that and we want to immediately hit F8 again to create a symbol within this symbol um, and we can call this in drop okay now um, Let's see, we are going to um, go down here to your properties panel, and go to advanced and settings. I'm just going to take this red here and just pull it down a little bit so that our drop kind of looks watercolory. <laughs> um, okay. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new layer. And we can lock this first layer uh, momentarily. And we grab our line tool and put it on white. Uh, we want our line to be, mm, say, two pixels wide. And we want no cap on that. If we zoom in on our circle, um, I have my zoom set up to control plus, control minus. Um, it makes it a lot easier when you get cruising along here. Uh, we're just going to draw a line like so. And if you notice, when I take the pointer, the symbol changes. We want the arc. That's going to allow us to bend this line. That's all we're looking for there. Um, now we can take this and hit F8. I'm going to create a symbol out of that. And just call it line. And um, let's tint that. And we can grab the same color. And we're going to... Well, we're going to use a darker. There we go. 
we can kind of something like that. Really doesn't matter too much. Um, okay. So there's our drop. Um, we can unlock this layer. And let's see. Let's just make another movie clip out of this to pair the two of those together. F8. Drop. Complete. Okay, and if we right click, um, distribute to layers, now this drop complete is on its own layer. We can just ditch these other two layers, yeah. So we're working with our complete drop here, it's on its own layer. Excellent. We want to bring it right up to the top of the screen here. Right there. And in your timeline, uh, select about frame 60. Hit F6 to create a keyframe. And um, now with this keyframe selected, our drop is selected. You can hit shift and arrow down to bring the drop down to the bottom of the screen. And we want to just make sure that that drop is kissing the bottom and you want it to come straight down. Um, okay, now in the timeline here we're going to create another keyframe um, about 70. Hit F6 we're going to take our uh, free transform tool here. Now, holding down the Alt key while you're resizing this allows it to hold that line there. If you don't hold down the Alt key, see what happens. It pulls from both sides. We don't want that. We want it to remain kissing the bottom. So hold down your Alt key and resize this. And you want to have your drop smush. Um, right about like so. Um, next thing we want to do is create another keyframe up here. Um, just come out, you know, five or six frames and hit F6. Now, uh, with this keyframe selected, our drop is still selected. We want to um, arrow down and nudge this thing. So it's about halfway um, off the stage. Now, uh, this time we don't want to hold the Alt key, and we want to resize because we 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 want it to stretch on both sides this time. And that's that. Now, if we select and drag um, on our timeline here, and right click, and create a motion tween. If we zoom out, we can see what we created here. Yeah. The drop comes down, and boom. There you go. Easy. Um, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of detail. I mean, I'm not a graphic artist by any means. Um, I do what I can, but... You know, I'm sure some of you can do a lot better at, um, you know, dressing this up a bit. This is about the extent of uh, my graphic arts abilities. Um, so let's let's see what we're gonna do here. Uh, we're gonna create a new layer, um, and right about what do we want to do this? Right about the same place as that keyframe, right above it. Hit F6. We want to create another new layer in the same keyframe. Hit F6. And we're going to name this newest layer guide. And we are going to, um, in this keyframe, draw a line. Coming from the middle of this blob up and at an angle like that. And if we hit V to get our selection tool, 
and hover until we get our arc. We want to bend this line until we get an, a nice arc like that. Um, now, if we head back to keyframe 1, select our guy here, and hit Control C. And we want to come back to this empty keyframe here on this uh, unnamed layer. We're going to call this Splash. Okay, select this keyframe. Scroll down here. Hit Control V. Uh, where'd it go? Where'd you go, you bastard? Uh, let me try that again. Maybe it's Control C. Back over to this empty keyframe. Control V. Oh, there it is. Okay. Drag it back onto the screen here and zoom right in. Uh, we want to take, and with this drop selected, we want to resize it. Um, uh, let's see, to 10. And we don't want to go too small. We made our drop pretty big. Um, so we're going to kind of resize this and use an action script. Um, so let's go to 20. 20 is about right. Okay. So we want to take this drop and um, make sure that the center point of the drop... is right at the end of this line. Okay. Now, up here where it says guide, we want to right click and click guide. And then we want to take the splash layer, kind of drag it onto that. And as you can see, this changes. Um, that's just showing that this guide is guiding the splash layer. Okay, next thing we're going to do is on the splash layer, right here in this last keyframe, we're going to hit F6 to create a keyframe um, and we're gonna take let's lock these other two layers so we don't grab them by accident let's take our little splash droplet and move it right to the end of that line um, and if we right click and create a motion twin on this layer you can see that our little splash is gonna follow our guide now, although there's a white arc here, that doesn't show up when you play the movie. Um, okay, so let's select Control C, our drops. We have a copy of it. We're going to create another one. So let's create one, two more layers. And this time, let's make our keyframe here. So F6 keyframe right above it there this is gonna be another guide and this is gonna be another splash um, we can select our splash keyframe hit control V and you can see here's our droplet um, now with our guide keyframe selected Let's draw a line going off the other way, coming right from the middle of our blob. Let's hold our pointer over it until we get our arc. Make an arc going the other way. 